Greetings, my name is Andy Carter and in three minutes I'll show you how to build a feature line power tool using Dynamo for Civil 3D. This tool dynamically places elevation text on each PI node for all feature lines in your drawing. Change an elevation, it updates. Move a node, the elevation callout moves. Edit multiple points and the elevations change. Much easier than the elevation editor, don't you think? To build this tool for yourself, open Dynamo inside of Civil 3D 2021. Search for Autodesk's package titled Civil 3D Toolkit. Once found, download and install this package. This package greatly expands the functionality of Civil 3D inside of Dynamo. Before I build the Dynamo script, I'm going to create a feature line inside this drawing. This feature line will be draped on the surface and elevations will be assigned at every horizontal point of intersection. With that complete, let's fire up Dynamo and create a new workspace. For civil engineering tasks, I recommend setting the work range to extra large. Let's start with an AutoCAD current document node. From the Civil 3D Toolkit, we'll add a node to get all the Civil 3D sites contained in this drawing. Next, we need to get all the feature lines that are inside each of these sites. For each feature line, we'll need to sample the coordinates of all the points of intersection. We'll utilize a flatten list node to remove the nested hierarchy of possibly multiple feature lines in multiple sites. Get the elevation for each point with a Z node, and then convert these values to strings. Finally, I'm adding a Python node to ensure that the label will always be to two decimal places. Here's a peek at the code that I used to get this to work. To place text at each PI, I'm adding an mText by point node. Wire the flatten list node to the location and the Python script to the text. Double click to add a code block and enter the desired layer name surrounded by quotes and ending with a semicolon. For the text height, I'm adding a slider with a minimum height of 1, a step of 2, and a maximum height of 100. You can play with this slider to adjust the height of all of these labels. Watch as these dynamically are adjusted with the slider. As I promised at the beginning, move a PI and the label moves with it. Insert a new PI and that new node is labeled. Use the quick elevation tool to change an elevation. Yep, that changes too. Edit the slopes between multiple points and change is shown almost instantaneously. I'll bet with this tool, you'll be a feature line editing monster. Again, I'm Andy Carter, the self-proclaimed civil envoy. Please check out the link shown for more content like this. I appreciate your time.